Yo, what's up? King Smog here. I got a question to ask some content creators. I can only get this video to reach the big content creators who can really make this question go places with your help. So please like, comment, and if you don't do any of those things, at least share this video because it is a question that needs an answer and moreover the answers to the question could spark a healthy debate and ultimately we know which bloggers which sites have been inherently doing this so let's see how honest we can get these blogs to be and it is not a question that people providing social commentary on things like the death of a celebrity in this case a rapper should avoid were you sitting there with your phone the last couple of days checking every notification making lists seeing which blogs are talking about it the most and making sure those notifications go right to the top and ultimately waiting for one of these sites to say that dmx has died so that you can make a video about it so that you can make a video about it so that you can make a video about it and secure a potentially enormous amount of views were you doing that and if you were doing that would you admit to doing that and if you weren't doing that would you do what i do and say hey look at my videos i wasn't doing that because that is sadistic and if you were doing that would you lie about it and say that you weren't doing that so that you can look a little bit more authentic which i doubt any content creator is actually gonna do just admit that they lied to their subscribers but hey man the more honesty we can get out of this the better it can be man the question is where do you draw the line from partaking in an activity that many would consider sadistic admitting to it could cause you to lose a nice little handful of subscribers but not admitting it even if you were one of the first bloggers to post it yet you just happened to come across it at the right time but you weren't sitting there on your phone scrolling through but people are calling you out on it anyways how do you respond to this if someone makes these accusations to you and they're not legitimate how would you respond to it if you started losing subscribers because of this and this is not something you were guilty of how would you respond to it and if it was something you were guilty of and you started losing subscribers how would you respond to that a line of decency has to be drawn but unfortunately people will say that if you're somebody who has that mindset you're not gonna go very far in social media is this an unfortunate reality or is this not an unfortunate reality? You tell me. Blog stalking to figure out death timestamps is not cool, but it inevitably will always happen, unfortunately, to some level or degree. And today's social media obsessed and social media driven society. Tell me how you feel about waiting for death notifications. And were you guilty of doing that with DMX? If you are waiting for somebody to die so you can make a post about it, a video about it, and then make a post about it, and then get views off of it, and then make money off of those views mm -hmm. via the people that are advertising on your channel, then are you wanting them to die? If you're waiting for somebody to die, are you wanting them to die? What kind of energy are you putting out there? Negative energy, selfish energy, or energy that is necessary because you're gonna make money off of this channel, you're gonna make money off that post and that video, but you need money to survive, so it's necessary energy because we live in a capitalistic society and the society that we live in requires money. Therefore, it can safely be labeled as a necessary and inevitable evil. You tell me. King Smog sounding off. Please proceed to like, state your opinion in the comments
and please share this video but most importantly shoot me a sub